Hello everyone, my name is Katie. Today, I am officially moved in to my new home. Um, a year ago, I met a guy, well, I knew him for a while, but I met a guy that treats me really good. He is the love of my life. He makes sure that I'm happy, that I'm fed, asks me how I feel. He's a very good loving man. I will put you that. He's a very prov good provider. He has accepted my son, who is autistic, as his own. He loves my son to call him dad, which touches me really well. Today, I am going to take you through a tour of my house to show you where I live. Starting with my back patio. So, I'd like to have a table here soon <laughs> to relax and enjoy the quiet neighborhood here in Parma. This is our lovely chair. It's a plastic throne. This is my doorway to my home. I have no screen door yet. I'm still waiting for the fiance to put it on. Um, if you come in, down here is my basement where I do a lot of washing my clothes and relaxing down there. I have a couch down there where I can sit and have five minutes of mom time where I can smoke a cigarette without my son bothering me. This is my kitchen where I do lots and lots of dishwashing in that sink. I also do a lot of cooking on that stove, which is gas, which the front burner to the right is so hot that noodles are done in five minutes instead of 12, which I'm very thankful for. This floor, my fiance put in himself. At first I didn't like it, but now I do. Um, this is my dining room, as you see, a nice table that we barely eat at much. And as we go through here, this is my living room. Big project here. It's going to take some time to get it to be a living room, living room, but I'm okay with it for now. This chair, very comfy. Very comfy. I will never give this chair up until it breaks. <laughs> um, this over here is... My autistic Daniel. son, Daniel, which he has introduced himself, Daniel, all day long, from time he gets up in the morning, which is about nine-ish, he watches TV. He's obsessed with Goofy, the DuckTales, Paw Patrol, I'm sure all you mothers know all about the Paw Patrol, the Blaze, the McQueen. Obsessive with cars. Anything to go do with cars? This little boy watches it or plays with it. Very good kid. Very good kid. Has his moments though, which any kid does. As we move through my living room, as you can see, very nice. This is the hallway to the bathroom. This is my bathroom. 
very nice clean toilet. I do not put my fanny on anything unless it is clean. If I go out, I put toilet paper on the seat or toilet cover. <laughs> I do a lot of my time here during the day, especially if you are a tea drinker and your bladder cannot hold it. This is my shower where I do a lot of bathing. It smells really clean in here because I just got done cleaning everything. My vanity. Small, but I'm happy. I like to have this door closed for the simple fact that my child likes to go in there and play in the dirty toilet, turn the hot water on, and possibly could burn himself. He is autistic. He is very drawn to water. As we move through the home, we are going to enter Daniel's room. This is Daniel's room. His two beds, his toddler bed, and his twin bed. He prefers to sleep in the twin bed since he got it instead of his bed, which is a McQueen bed that I spent a lot of money on, but he's my angel, I do not care. As you see, he has lots of toys, McQueen. <laughs> As we stroll through the hallway back to the hallway again, I am going to enter my bedroom. This is my bedroom. A lot of love is made in this bed. It gets clean once a week though. This is our entertainment after we settle down for the day. This dresser got all my crap on it because I have no vanity. I would love to have a vanity. Money's tight. But this is my home that my fiance decided that his queen should have. Every day, I wake up at 9 o'clock, I rest in my bed, I play some games on my phone after I change my child, he is not potty trained yet, due to the fact that he is autistic and he has no interest. After I get out of bed and go to start my day, I get dressed. Today, I am wearing my fiance's shorts that he gave me a while or so ago before I moved in here. His favorite color is red, and since I'm a blonde, red really makes me stand out. I do not work, I am a stay at home mom. I deal with a lot on my own because I am a single parent and thanks to my fiance who I fell madly in love with after the first couple of months has accepted my child for who he is. He's a very smart child. He's very good. He's loving. The only thing is, he is autistic, and if anybody is familiar with autism, you feel my pain. It's frustrating, It's you get angry, you want to punch things, you want to cry, but you want to be strong for your child. And I try to be. When my child was born, I knew from birth there was something wrong. A mother's instinct is over top of anything in this world. I went to two pediatricians who failed me. One pediatrician who I will not name, who is from where I am from. Seeing my child 
flap his wings like a bird, which he does out of boredom, which I have discovered after a couple of years of him doing it, that it is caused from boredom and excitement. The doctor's nurse thought it was cute that Daniel was doing that, which causes distraction for him and other people around him. Since I've brought him here, he has adjusted very well, which I was very concerned about. But he did very well. Sleeping, very good. Eating, not so much due to the fact that he has eating issues due to the autism. He has no meat in his diet because he prefers not to eat it. He likes pudding, Reese cups, ice cream, mashed potatoes, anything to do with a noodle. I just got him to eat spaghetti with no meat with sauce on it. But my everyday agenda is to take care of an autistic three-year-old and be a housewife. This is the ring that my fiance gave me. He told me that he wants to buy me a better one once we were officially married. Which I don't care as long as he is with me and he loves me and he cares about me. That is Daniel. He can speak. He is not nonverbal. He can speak. He does somewhat comprehend of what's going on around him. But as you see, he is getting ready to do a little dance that he does due to the autism. But today, I just wanted to introduce myself and my child and show you where I live. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day. It's mommy.